Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create a basic three-dimensional logo. And I've started out with a dark blue screen. And uh, for my foreground colour, I'm going to go with a pale cream. Now, any pale colour will be fine, just as long as it's not pure white, because that's going to cause you problems later on. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to come over to the text tool. And I'm just using a basic Arial black font here. Um, and I'm just going to type out my text. Okay, I'll just center that now. Right, so I'm going to come over to the layer now and I've right clicked and I'm just going to select rasterize type. Now it's important to make sure you're happy with your text before you do this uh, because once you do this um, you're not going to be able to, to change the font or make any, any amendments to the text. Okay, so the next step, I want to come up to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. I'm just going to drag out these bottom corners and just uh, click on that tick there. Okay, so that's basically the perspective of the logo, and this is going to form the top and the top part or the face of the logo. Next, I just want to select that, and uh, I'm just selecting that with the rectangle lasso tool. And I'm just going to come over here and just drag it slightly. And as you can see, um, the selection now, it's, it's selected the logo um, rather than just a rectangle. Okay, so next step, we're going to come back to our edit menu and come all the way down to define brush preset. And uh, if you click on that, it's just capturing um, the selected area as a brush now. So I'm just going to give that a name, I'm just going to call it a uh, Devotion Brush. Okay, so I'm just going to come up to Select and Deselect now. And then I'm just going to click on my Paintbrush tool. Okay, now if you come all the way bottom to your, your brushes, you're going to find your logo brush. And uh, before we start painting with this, well, I'll just give you a demonstration. You can actually paint with it as though it's a normal brush. But before we actually get started, I'm going to come over to the Brushes tab here. And as you can see, I've got Brush Tip Shape selected here. Now I just want to reduce the, sh the spacing to 1%. Okay, so. And then I'm going to create a new layer. And uh, I'll call this Logo Base. Okay, so what I'm doing now is um, I'm just moving the, the layer down and I'm going to, to draw onto this layer now. So I'm just clicking here, then I'm holding down the shift key and raising it up a little. Okay, so I can raise it up a bit more. So this is going to be like the base of the logo, the three-dimensional aspect. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit blurry. So in order to strengthen that, I'm just going to right-click the layer and duplicate it. And as you can see, it's just strengthened it up a bit. Okay, so I'm going to merge those two layers down so that we've got the base in the one layer. And I'm going to reduce the opacity so that it's actually darker than the face. And then I'm just going to move it up into position. And as you can see, it's taking on that appearance of a three-dimensional logo now. Now, I've just clicked the devotion layer now, the foreground layer. And I'm just going to move that into place. Okay, so that's looking good. That's looking like um, a three-dimensional logo. Now, you can leave it here, but I'm going to show you various things you can do to it from there. So, what I want to do is I want to merge this down so that the logo is just in one single layer. And you can move that around now. Okay, so the next step, we're going to try and apply some, um, some shadows uh, to this now. So, I'm going to come to Layer Style. And I'm going to apply a drop shadow first of all. Uh, I'm going to reduce the distance to zero. Okay, and the spread, I want that raised to about about 16 should be fine. And the size, I'm going to raise that slightly. Uh, let's see. Around 10 should be fine. Now I'm going to come into inner shadow and once again, I'm going to reduce the distance. I'm going to leave choke where it is. And I'm going to raise the size all the way up to around between 
I'd say between 40 and uh, 50 would be fine. And as you can see, um, it's given the, the logo a bit more shade in there and it's starting to look even more three dimensional. Okay, so the next step is, um, let's see, you could, you could reduce the opacity and make it look like an ice logo, uh, but we're not going to do that here. I'm going to load up a texture now and you'll find this in the resources folder and it's called rusty texture png now I'm just going to select all this copy and just paste it into the, the into its own layer and I'm just going to call this texture okay and the next thing I want to do is right click the, the layer and create clipping mask and as you can see the texture is applied to the logo now and I can move it around and uh, just push it into place and uh, yeah, I could go with the white here or I could go with um, the orange uh, the rusty orange so um, and obviously if you, you wish you can apply your own texture here and it should work out fine so just play around until you're happy with uh, the texture you've got now you can come back at any time and adjust this just as long as you've got the layers preserved okay so that's pretty much um, the logo now if we want to add a bit more light in we can come and click the, the logo base or the, the main logo layer come back into layer style and we can come down to gradient overlay and uh, as you can see we've got a gradient there and it's because the opacity is set to 100 we can't see the texture so I'm going to lower the opacity you know, right the way down adjust the scale and it just emphasizes that that light and shadow and um, it's like emphasizing uh, the, the shadows and the highlights now and we can adjust the angle and j just generally play around with that and see what you come up with but that's pretty much um, the effect we're going for and that's uh, how you create a basic three-dimensional logo